For their safety, they never wish to go back to their homes, at least not during this COVID-19 pandemic period that could land them a death sentence. For these destitute children in Thika, having a safe roof over their heads at this rescue center has distanced them from what they fear most, domestic violence. And currently we are having 43 children, um, among which uh, four are abandoned babies uh, who are abandoned at Thika level 5 and other cases are from uh, physical abuse from their relatives. According to Joan Wamboy, a social worker at the Mature Children Rescue Center, they are struggling to cope with the new emerging trends. She says the challenge has been magnified by the growing financial burden on families due to increased instances of job losses, salary cuts, and employees being subjected to redundancies. A family has a husband and a wife and they are not having any source of income. The children are looking up to them. And this brings a, a lot of anxiety and stress and uh, it leads to a lot of uh, physical violence and also emotional abuse the, which trickles down to the children and that's why you're finding a lot of children being uh, physically abused. And even the fact that people are just, uh, so many people are idle and within the community, you find the cases of defilement also happening. But ever since the start of the COVID-19 uh, pandemic, uh, of course, the schools have been closed. It has been difficult for us to reach the, the children that we normally help. It has also been difficult because of the boundaries of Nairobi Metropolitan. And it has also become difficult because of uh, our staff is not able to go door to door to visit people, to guide them, to encourage them, to help them. Three, four. Most of the employees working with children opt to break the monotony through exercising to boost their energy levels to handle matters of this vulnerable group. But even as the government tries to lessen the burden through the cash transfer program to help them sustain their families, they say it's not sufficient enough to deal with the crisis. Dio to protect watoto, ukitoka inje, ukirudi, ujulikani ulimekutana na kinanani, paka ukuje quarantine for 14 days, na hii tunaona ni vuzuri sana kwa sababu Tuna zuia watoto wetu, wasipate magonjwa ama tusilete mtu yote shida. Unajua tukiwa inje tunakutana watu wengi. They are appealing to the two levels of government and other like-minded organizations to come up with solutions to curb rising cases of child abuse and domestic violence. Brenda Chariot, K24 Weekend with Betty.